Hey, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three free online tools you can use to help you with the copywriting process. If you're a beginner with copywriting, I highly recommend you check these tools out and you try them out for yourself because these tools are going to be extra helpful for you if you're a beginner because these are not just tools that will help you make writing copy easier. They're also tools that will help you learn copy faster. You know, I used to do a lot of freelance work and people used to pay up to $85 an hour for my time. And while I did make a lot of money, it was not an easy process. And honestly, I wish I had these tools available to me. One of these tools will help you generate with your computer high converting headlines without you having to do all the mental karate to come up with these headlines. You'll be able to have a ton of headlines on the spot. This tool will help you come up with high converting um, headlines with tested templates um, without requiring more than three minutes of work on your part. Really crazy stuff, especially if you want to do a lot of A-B testing. You can take many of these headlines that you can generate in less than three fucking minutes and just test them all on your ads and see which ones perform better. This can literally save you hours of your time. One of these tools will help you figure out exactly what people are looking for on Google so that you know what kind of content you need to make if you want to take advantage of free traffic. Because let's face it, you don't always have access to uh, advertising budgets. Maybe you're advertising your own company if you and you want to do some free content to drive free traffic. Or maybe some of your clients are going to want to hire you, but they're not wanting to hire you on some sort of PPC campaign and they want you to build some content. And so this tool will help you with your SEO and choosing the right topics to make sure that people will want to click on it and want to share it hopefully on social media as well. And the last tool is going to be extra helpful if English, just like me, is not your first language. But even if English is, is your first language, a lot of people tend to try to overcomplicate their, what they're writing because they want to seem intelligent and they want to sound sophisticated. But oftentimes it's a mistake that makes it so a lot of people, because a lot of people on the internet are not uh, like native English speakers. A lot of people don't understand a lot of the sophisticated words that you're going to be using. And sometimes when you're raised in uh around a lot of people who speak English all the time, uh, words that are complicated that most of the world who do not speak English as a first language do not understand become words that are, that are really familiar with you because you, you hear them all the time and you think that they're just simple words that everybody know, but oftentimes it's not the case. So this tool will help you make sure that all, all the words that you're using in your copy, all the sentence structures are all basic and easy to understand, even for people who are not native and English speaker and to make sure that your text is sharp, quick and and that your clients are going to be happy with it. So the first tool I want to share with you is called headline.io. Obviously, this is a tool that's going to help you write headlines. If you click on start generating, generating headlines here, it asks you a couple of questions about your product, your audience, what they want, and things like that. And you're going to answer this. And with this information, they're going to go through dozens of proven copywriting templates and they're going to generate dozens of headlines for you that are using proven to work templates that have been used by master copywriters to make literally millions. And the reason this tool is really powerful is that a lot of people, me included, spend tons of time just writing headlines, trying to come up with clever things that people will want to click on. But the thing is that Writing headlines is not simple. It can take a, a long chunk of your whole writing process. And the truth is, it's not because you spend a lot of time on it that your headlines are going to be better than what the computer generates for you. And a lot of times, you're going to be working on projects where the client is not willing to uh, give you a lot of time to finish it. And with tools like these, you can make you can start building headlines, good headlines, pretty fast, which are going to help you. And I also have to mention that if you want to do freelance work, you're probably going to do a lot of a lot of projects where you're not paid per hour, you're paid for the results you're providing, you're paid per project. That means that no matter how much time it takes you to build uh, the piece of copy, you're going to make the exact same amount of money. In those circumstances, you're going to be much better off trying to finish it as fast as possible because the faster you finish it, the faster you can start working on other projects. So saving time can be one of the biggest tools that will allow you to make a lot of money as a freelancer. So this 
Headline.io, uh, let's go through it just quick so you can see how it works. Let's say my product is a hockey helmet. Who's my audience? Let's say I'm gonna go with father, fathers. What do they want? They want their, you want your kid to be safe, avoid concussions. They want to avoid having to buy a new helmet every year. So they want a helmet that lasts long. What problems do they have? These helmets are costly and they need to get the helmet tomorrow because their kid has a game tomorrow. The solution we offer is basically safer padding and quick delivery and cheaper than our competitors. The authority in our industry, let's say uh, Wayne Gretzky, I don't know much about hockey, I just know who Wayne Gretzky is, so I'm just going to use it as an example. And let's say um, Barack Obama. Click next step, next step, next step, finish. And all of a sudden you get headlines that you can use. Let's take this one for example. Wayne Gretzky, comma, Barack Obama. Obviously these are not um, formatted properly. You're going to have to uh, correct the gra grammar mistakes in here. But let's say I read it corrected. Wayne Gretzky and Barack Obama show you how to make sure your kid is safe, that he avoids concussions, he, and that you avoid having to buy a new helmet every year with this helmet that lasts longer than most. One of the example, let's say I take this one. Start saving money on making sure your kid is safe while playing hockey. With this helmet that lasts long, you're going to be able to avoid having to buy a new helmet every year. I think you can see the process here. Like, obviously, you need to do a little bit of work to make sure that this... Uh, these headlines are formatted properly, but you can see the basic framework and these, and with this tool, you're not gonna have to come up with all the ideas yourself. This tool is basically gonna give you all the basic framework for your headlines and you're just gonna have to make sure that they, they uh, flow correctly. Obviously, if you're a beginner, your headlines that you're come up, coming up yourself are probably not gonna be that amazing to begin with. And most likely, these headlines are gonna be better than what you come up with yourself. So, so I'm not saying don't practice building headlines, but you can definitely use a tool like this to make your clients happier with the projects that you deliver. Now, the next tool I wanna share with you is probably one of the most used tools of all times from all writers, not just copywriters, blog writers, even YouTubers, and you name it. This is one of the most used tools for marketing ever. It's called Answer the Public. Basically, this tool, what it does is you, is basically, it tells you it's gonna help you discover what people are asking about. What basically it does is you write a topic. Let's say I write uh, hockey, Helmet, and it's gonna search all throughout, it's gonna search what people are typing in search engines, what they're typing on Google, Bing, uh, YouTube, and they're, and basically this tool is gonna tell me uh, what are the most common questions people ask about this products, what are the most common search queries that people use when it comes to this product, and what it, what it means that by knowing what are the most asked questions by people on Google and on all these search engines, you know basically what the what are the problems that people are facing when it comes to this product, this uh, or this general topic. And with that information, you will know what kind of content you make because if you write about the most common problems people have, obviously some people are gonna be interested about hearing your answer. And this is especially useful if you wanna write an ebook to generate lead for your newsletter or things like that. Like obviously you're gonna have a much more solid lead magnet if you're offering something that people want. And let's say with Aki Helmet, let's say, uh, can you wear hockey helmet skiing? Obviously, I'm not going to write an ebook about this, but this could be a, a cool, quick blog post I can make. This is obviously going to generate traffic. Let's take, for example, can you wash 
your hockey helmet? Like, yeah, this is an interesting question people ask. And if you're offering a free, if, and if you're creating a free video on how to wash your hockey helmet, obviously some fathers, some moms, some, some people around are gonna wanna watch this. And one of the biggest problems you're gonna have if you're trying to build a blog or if you're trying to, if you're trying to, to build a following on social media, a uh, YouTube channel or whatever, is that most of the ideas when it comes to topics you wanna cover are not things that people are actually that much interested in. And if people are not that interested in, it's good. Not a lot of people are gonna like your posts on social media, not a lot of people are gonna share them, and, if, and not a lot of people are gonna click on your YouTube videos. And this tool is not just good to know what kind of topic to talk about. This tool is fucking amazing to learn about your market because what, by, by learning what people are searching for, as I said, you learn what are their worries, their problem, and what you can help them solve. The last tool I want to share with you today uh, is readable.com. Now, before I start with this tool, I, want, I just want to tell you that you might think that this is silly, but this is probably the most important tool that I'm, that I'm sharing with you today, okay? This tool is very simple, okay? You're just gonna copy and paste all of your content on, uh, on readable.com and they're gonna tell you, and they're gonna tell you how complicated your piece of writing is. Let's say I uh, take uh, this paragraph and I just copy paste it here. Well, if you look at, at the, uh, on the right sidebar, they're telling me the readability grade level is grade 11. Now, what this means that this is a text that is at the level of what kids who are in grade 11 could read. Now, that doesn't sound that complicated, but the truth is, but the truth is that most people, the average reading age of people is actually grade 9. So anything that's above great grade nine in reading complexity means that a lot of people when they're going to come across your copy are not going to fully understand what you're writing or it's going to be very complicated and they're going to have to write it multiple times and uh it's going to take more mental processing for them to totally understand what you're writing and if it's hard to understand and they don't really care about what you're writing they're just going to go away and click on another youtube video or whatever so you need to learn to write in a very simple English. Ideally, I'd say grade eight level, because while the average person can write at, at the level of grade nine, many of the people who are gonna be reading your stuff are not native English speakers. And even people who are English speakers, a lot of people are, are just not that educated. And if the average is grade nine, that means that there are people who are below grade nine in reading level and a lot of these people could be really good clients for you. If you're selling hockey helmet and you're writing in a way that fathers who have a grade eight or grade seven level of reading can't understand, well, obviously these are people who would still uh, buy helmets even though they're not, even though their reading level is below average. So try to aim for grade seven, grade eight. If you're in around that range, it's, it's gonna be best. And I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, hey, uh, but my audience is soft, sophisticated and educated. No, I'm writing for engineers. I'm writing for intelligent people. Well, studies have shown that these people, the more educated people are, the more they're annoyed when they're reading complicated shit. So the more simpler you can write, that means that the more people will be able to understand and also that people who are educated are gonna enjoy reading your stuff a lot more. So there's no benefit to writing in a com complicated, sophisticated way, like zero. There's zero benefit to write like you write in college, zero, like you've been conditioned. And if you went to college, like, this is a big problem you need to overcome because in college, people are paid to read what you write. No one likes to read like complicated stuff, complicated essays just for fun. Like if, even if people are interested, genuinely interested in the topic you're talking about, this is a thing that could put them off and you're gonna lose a lot of potential clients because of that. And if you're building ads, well, people don't want to read fucking ads. People 
don't want to read marketing to begin with. So you start with potential customers who don't give a shit about what you're talking about. And if you're, and if on top of them not giving a shit about what you're talking, you make it so if they want to read it, what you're writing is written in a complicated level of English and it requires effort on their part to just understand what you've written when they don't even care about it to begin with. What do you think that's going to happen? Like people are not going to read any, people are just not going to read your fucking ads. So I recommend every time you write something until you get comfortable writing simple English, you copy paste everything you write in these tool. And the funny thing is that as you see there, the word organized is underlined and that it tells you basically which sentences, which words are too complicated that you need to change. It does all the work for you. You can try to go through your word document and see what's complicated, what is, what is not, but it's going to be, it's going to take you a lot longer to figure that out than just to read and then just to look at this page, which is going to tell you exactly where are the problematic sentences and words that you're using in your piece of copy. As I said, these tools can save you a lot of time and help you write much better copy because copy is not just about the ideas you are conveying. It's also about making sure that people understand what you are selling, what you're promoting. And this is a big part that most copywriting courses don't tell you about and that, and that most people don't, don't take into account. And if you're used to write in a very complicated cop level, uh, level of English, just try this out. Just change your level of complexity and you'll see your, and you'll see your conversion rate go up because it's going to be a lot easier for people to read your ads, which means that more people are going to go through it, which means that you're going to have more sales. It's, it, it's not, it's not rocket science. It's just like simple, but since, but the reason I have to tell you this is that I've suffered because college has conditioned me to try to write in a fancy, complicated way. And maybe you've suffered the same problem. So if, if you want to check any of these tools out, I've put a link to them in the description. They're all free. I'm not making any fucking money for this. I'm telling you to use these tools because they're good. They're good tools. So go check them out. Go try them out. So with that said, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't hesitate to click the like button. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Uh, next month, I'm going to be releasing a big, a big video on how to find clients. I'm going to tell you exactly everything I learned throughout my copywriting, my freelance copywriting journey, all the methods I've learned, all the tips I've learned. This is going to be a big video. It's going to come out ne next month. If you don't want to miss it out, subscribe. I'm sure you'll love it. This is going to be an amazing fucking video. Thanks so much for watching and take care.